Welcome. Fast fashion needs to slow down. Hello everyone, I am Amy Cherry Hughes from Greener Together with Amy. I am an author, eco-activist and I have been working in the fashion industry for the past 12 years. Now today with this video I will be exploring the social and environmental issues of the fashion industry and will be explaining to you how you can make your fashion choices more sustainable because sustainable fashion can be extremely fashionable. The fashion industry is one of the most polluting industries in the world, second only to the oil industry. From working in this industry, I have seen many trends, both fast and timeless. The industry creates both social and environmental problems. And the biggest problem, cheap, fast fashion. Fashion shapes history and history shapes fashion. Fashion trends have been heavily influenced by social movements, religion, politics and wars. The fashion history we are creating today is known as fast fashion. The fashion industry works with the textiles industry for its fibres and yarns. Fibres and yarns can be both natural and synthetic. Both leave an impact. From the social issues of the workers working in these industries to the environmental damage caused, Fast fashion is destroying livelihoods and is causing multiple and serious long-term environmental damage. The fashion industry employs approximately 300 million people worldwide and contributes to the market value within many developing countries who rely heavily on fibre production and manufacturing as a source of employment and income. The industry is often revealed to be paying offshore factory workers, often underage children, less than a minimum wage. They manufacture their garments at factories where human rights, safety and environmental care are at the very bottom of the priority list. Whilst the textiles industry is using 20,000 litres of water to grow just one kilo of cotton, there are 785 million people who do not have access to clean water near their homes. A basic human right is withheld from millions of people whilst this industry uses 1.5 trillion litres every single year. Not all countries have laws regarding manufacturing processes, including the disposal of toxic chemicals. Factory workers and people living near textile factories in polluted areas are also at risk of health problems such as skin diseases and respiratory illnesses, and people die from exposure to high concentrations of dangerous chemicals. Each year, approximately 70 million trees are cut down and replaced by mass plantations of trees, such as bamboo, spruce, pine and beech trees. These trees are used to make wood-based fabrics such as rayon, modal and viscose. This deforestation is threatening our ecosystems, our animals and the rights of indigenous communities. The industry is also having a negative impact on the quality of the earth's soil. From the overgrazing of land used to raise cattle for leather or goats and sheep for cashmere and wool or from cotton plantations. This threatens agriculture and ultimately contributes to global warming. Countries such as China, Bangladesh and India are manufacturing the majority of clothes worn in the UK today. These countries are powered by coal which is the dirtiest type of energy in terms of carbon emissions. It is directly polluting their atmosphere causing serious long-term health problems and even death for local people. Some people will quite literally kill for fashion. For leather, wool, silk and feathers, every year billions of animals suffer horrendous torture and death for the fashion and textiles industries. The vast majority of the world's textile production is in India, Bangladesh and China. Not all countries have laws regarding animal welfare. The end of life for a garment is not the end of its pollution. Unless clothing is recycled or donated, it goes directly to landfill or is incinerated. Synthetic plastic-based fibres such as polyester are non-biodegradable, taking anything from 20 to 200 years to break down depending on the conditions. According to the charity Sustain, Every time we wash a garment made from synthetic fibres, around 1,900 individual microfibres are released into the water, making their way into our oceans. 
Scientists have discovered that small aquatic organisms ingest those microfibers. These organisms are then eaten by small fish, which are later eaten by bigger fish, and so on, finally introducing plastic to humans in the food chain. Fast fashion is unsustainable. It is damaging the health of our planet and the health of the workers within the supply chain. We need to adopt new shopping habits when it comes to clothes and textiles. We have become a nation obsessed with keeping up with the latest fashion trends. Take this one pound bikini by online fast fashion retailer. I can't help but think about the people who have worked on the production of such an item. The brand cannot be making any money on this bikini, so why bother? For marketing, at the cost of workers and the environment, what a terrible, terrible disaster. The Who Made My Clothes campaign started after the Rana Plaza building collapsed in 2013. Poor neglected working environment cost the lives of hundreds of factory workers. These workers are literally risking their lives for fast fashion. We all need to wear clothes every day, but how can we do this whilst avoiding fast fashion? It's called sustainable fashion. By thrifting, swapping and upcycling textiles, we have an opportunity to embrace sustainable fashion. The sustainable market is a growing market worth over $24 billion. To be sustainable, we must reduce consumption and when buying new, look for natural fibres. Whatever your style, there are many ways we can embrace sustainable fashion. Upcycling is when you take an item you already have and make something new from it. Don't throw away things that are still full of life. Instead, rework them. Get creative with the things you already have. You'd be surprised with what you can create. And reduce your need of buying things both new and second hand. Train yourself to only buy the things you really need. And when you do shop, embrace second hand. Swap and share items with friends and family. Support second hand shops. I got this Zara beach bag worth £30 for free on the mobile sharing app Olio. However, if your only option is to buy new, then look for natural, organic, fair trade fibres such as cotton, linen and hemp. Another great sustainable option are innovative textiles. Yarns made from byproduct waste such as mushrooms, pineapple leaves, wine grapes and plastics removed from the oceans known as ocean plastics. Innovative textiles are definitely a cool way to be sustainable whilst diverting waste from landfills or incineration and cleaning up existing pollution. There are some truly beautiful options available. Fast fashion needs to slow down. Next time you are considering a new purchase, take a moment to think. Think about how that product came to be. Ask yourself if it is a necessary purchase, and if so, is it a sustainable one? Your planet needs you to help look after it with positive and earth-friendly choices. The clothes we wear should not be destroying our planet or any life on it.